Pop Century is a very popular and fun value resort that celebrates pop culture throughout the decades. Come along with me for a full tour of what all this value resort has to offer. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Disney breaks their on-site resorts down into three pricing categories, value, moderate, and deluxe. Pop Century is a value resort, but it is going to fall on the pricier end of the value resort choices, which by the end of this video, you'll understand why. Pop Century celebrates the fads and icons of pop culture throughout the 1950s through the 1990s. This resort is really bright and colorful, and you're gonna see larger than life pop icons all throughout the resort. At the front of the resort, you will find Classic Hall. This is where the lobby is located and there is pop culture memorabilia everywhere. It is so fun to browse the massive collections they have displayed because you never know quite what you're going to see. They also have a little kids area complete with cartoons playing to entertain the little ones while you are waiting. If you checked in online before arriving, you might not even need to visit the lobby during your stay. Disney will actually notify you once your room is ready and then you can skip the lobby and head straight to your room where you can use your phone or your magic band to unlock your door. Besides the lobby, this is also where you will find Fast Forward Arcade. This is a pretty good size arcade, and I don't think most kids nowadays have even seen an arcade, let alone have gotten to go play in one. So this is a really fun touch, especially since this resort celebrates fads from decades past. Directly across from the arcade and at the end of Classic Hall is everything pop, shopping, and dining. This is going to be the only dining location at Pop Century, and it is a really large food court that serves up classic food like pizzas and burgers, as well as some quick grab-and-go options. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Besides the food court, this is also where you will find the gift shop for Pop Century, and this is gonna have all sorts of items from souvenirs, snacks, hygiene products, Literally almost anything you can think of, they probably sell it here. Pop Century is a fan favorite resort for many because of its transportation options. Guests staying at this resort have access to both buses and the Skyliner. The Disney buses can be found just outside of everything pop at the front of the resort. This is where you will go if you're heading to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, or the water parks. If you are headed to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, then you can take the Skyliner. The Skyliner is located at the back of Pop Century and it sits in between Pop Century and Art of Animation. This is a shared Skyliner station between the two resorts and it will take you to the main hub of the Skyliner at Caribbean Beach. This is roughly only a five minute ride away, so it doesn't take super long at all. From the main hub, then you will have to transfer to either Hollywood Studios or Epcot. The Skyliner is the best Disney transportation in my opinion. I love that it gets you to your destination easily and quickly. I also just love riding it. Skyliner access is a huge selling point for this resort. If you frequent Epcot or Hollywood Studios, then staying at a Skyliner resort could be a total game changer for you. Pop Century is broken up into four sections, and of course, they are by decade the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, 90s section. Each of the different areas celebrate the icons from that decade, and this includes larger-than-life representations. The decor of this resort makes for a super fun, nostalgic atmosphere. Upon entering your room, you will find a beverage station complete with an ice bucket, cups, coffee maker, as well as coffee and tea.
Each room also comes with a beverage cooler. This is not as cold as a mini fridge, but it will keep your drinks cool. Each room has one regular queen size bed and an additional queen size pull down bed that doubles as a table when not in use. Just simply pull down the bed when you are ready to use it. Since I didn't need the second bed for this trip, I ended up leaving the bed up most of the time so that I could utilize the table and have a bit more space in the room. Besides having a bit of storage besides the beds, there is also room underneath the bed to store your luggage. The large dresser has more outlets and this is where you will find the safe, as well as more storage. There is an open closet in the bathroom with some additional cubbies for storage. There are also more cubbies located in the bathroom for storage along with an ironing board and an iron. Hippy Dippy Pool, which is the main feature pool, can be found just outside the back of Classic Hall in the 60s section. This is also where you will find Petal's Pool Bar that serves up drinks and a few light snacks. Just behind Hippy Dippy Pool is a separate kitty splash area. There are also two smaller pools located throughout the resort. The bowling pool can be found in the 50s section and the computer pool can be found in the 80s, 90s section. These smaller pools are great alternatives to the feature pool if you are staying in one of those decades and you don't wanna walk all the way to the center of the resort. The smaller pools also usually end up being a little bit less crowded than the main feature pool. Located just to the side of the 70s section is an outdoor playground for little ones to burn off some energy and play. You will also find a jogging trail that goes all the way around the resort. Keeping with the theme of this resort, the jogging trail features signs with pop culture facts relevant to the decade that you are currently jogging through. Pop Century is definitely my personal favorite Valley Resort. It has a really fun vibe and you just can't beat having Skyliner access. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, 
please give it a like for me. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.